Another groundbreaking research paper from China has just shocked the entire world. And no, I'm not exaggerating. This could change the internet forever. I'm about to play two clips. Your job. Tell me which one is real and which one is fake. This was how I was making an impact in the lives of my 60 students. So, όταν κάποιος είναι ερωτευμένος, μπορούμε να πούμε την έκφραση τον πονάει το δοντάκι. Αυτό. All right, got your answer. Now, what if I told you both clips were fake? Yes, everything you just saw was entirely generated by OmniHuman One, an AI that can take a single still image and a voice clip to create an ultra-realistic video. So right now, if you want to make a deep fake video of someone doing or saying something they didn't, it's a real pain. You need a ton of data, like hours and hours of video. Then you have to clean it all up, make sure everything's perfect. Even then, the fakes are usually kind of obvious, right? Like the face looks weird or the body moves all wrong. Most of them you only see face to face. It just doesn't look real. But that's where OmniHuman One changes everything. We're talking about AI that can take a single image and a short voice clip and turn it into a completely realistic full body video. No hours of training data, no crazy post processing, just plug and play. All right, let's dive a little deeper into OmniHuman One because trust me, there's some really cool stuff going on under the hood. So remember how I said existing human animation models struggle to scale? That's because they have to filter their data a lot to simplify the learning process. Think about it. If you're training an audio-driven model, you mostly care about the face, right? So you got to chop out all the videos with weird background movement or bad lip sync. But that throws away tons of potentially useful motion data. OmniHuman's big idea is to use multiple conditions during training. Things like text descriptions, audio, and even pose information. By incorporating all that, you don't have to throw away as much data. And it's all about how they mix these conditions. This is absolutely incredible. They have these two training principles, right? First, stronger conditioned tasks like pose estimation, which really tells the model what the body should be doing, can actually help weaker conditioned tasks like just audio. The strong condition helps the weaker condition to learn. Second, the stronger the condition, the less you should use it in training. It's counterintuitive, but it's because if you overemphasize the strong condition, the model just ignores the others. It becomes overly dependent on the strong condition. It doesn't learn anything new. So they built this omni-human model, which uses a fancy DIT architecture and trains on these mixed conditions. This is all about taking advantage of data and learning natural motion. I don't think you guys understand how crazy this is. Basically, unlike older methods that reduce data, they benefit from a huge diverse set of mixed data. It supports various portrait content, it supports talking and singing, it handles human object interactions and challenging body poses, it accommodates different image styles. It's pretty crazy. That's on the human one in a nutshell. Smart data mixing for much better and more flexible human animation. All right, enough talk. Let's see this thing in action. You will become, and I know about this because I had the opportunity to stand on top of the Olympic podium and feel the weight of that gold medal around my neck. And I wouldn't have been there had it not been for the What would art be like without emotions? It would be empty. What would our lives be like without emotions? They would be empty of values. So uh, a famous uh, classical poet said, we hate and we love. Can one tell me why? Catulus. Uh, science does not answer why questions. My first guest is the man who made electric cars a thing and is currently working on perfecting reusable rockets, space travel, connecting the human brain directly to computers, connecting cities with electromagnetic bullet trains, the Starlink satellite system that's so important to the war in Ukraine, and then on Tuesday. He's <laughs> gonna work on that. Honestly, I think these demos might even be better than Microsoft Vaza One and Alibaba Emo. All right, let's really hammer home the safety implications of OmniHuman One, because trust me, this is the part that keeps me up at night. The biggest worry boils down to scale, okay? Right now, making a convincing deepfake takes skill, time, and serious resources, which acts as a natural barrier. Omni-human one. It basically smashes that barrier to pieces, democratizing deepfakes in a way we've never seen before. I don't think you guys understand how crazy this is. It's not just swapping faces anymore. We're talking about crafting entire fabricated realities, entirely believable scenarios that never happen. The potential for manipulation is terrifying, you know? How do you trust anything you see online after this? If a picture is worth a thousand words, a fake video becomes worth a thousand calculated lies, chipping away at our ability to discern truth. What about the silencing of voices? 
A targeted deep fake attack could obliterate someone's reputation overnight, effectively shutting them down, which is incredibly dangerous for journalists, activists, and anyone brave enough to speak truth to power. It's pretty crazy to consider the implications, and it only gets worse. Deepfakes can be easily exploited to reinforce pre-existing harmful stereotypes and spread hate speech like wildfire. Combine that with the speed and reach of social media, and you've got a recipe for complete disaster. You guys want to pay attention, especially during this next election. Then there's the insidious problem of plausible deniability in this new era. Even if a deep fake gets exposed as a fake, the damage is already done. The seed of doubt, the initial suspicion, has been planted in people's minds. And the creators can always hide behind a flimsy excuse like, it was just a joke, or I was hacked, making it exponentially harder to hold them accountable. I don't think you guys understand how crazy this is, all this at our fingertips. So, yeah, omni-human one. It's wild, right? Incredible tech, but with serious risks. We all need to be aware of this stuff, learn to spot the fakes, and demand better solutions. This is the future, and it's up to us to shape it. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more. Peace.